guess what rice and roller skates have in common? The letter O. So today I'm going to teach you how to make a rice on my roller skates because it has, if it has anything to do with roller skating, bicycling, or food, I am all in. So remember in my previous video when I taught you how to make the homemade broth? I don't have any left so I will be using water today, but if you have the broth, from the video before, please use that, or if you have any broth laying around, use that too. I soak my rice. My rice is in this bowl right here. And you don't have to soak the rice, but I like to soak it because uh, it has some goop in it, and some of it is the rice fiber, but uh, some of it is, I don't know what it is. So when I dump it, you can see, I'm gonna dump it soon, you can see all the junk that comes out of it. You can soak your rice overnight, or for a few hours but even if you don't have a few hours I highly recommend that you at least rinse it you know one to three times to get all the gunk out of it I also soak it in water and apple cider vinegar I don't put a lot of apple cider vinegar in there just about a quarter cup per bowl uh, just because it infuses it with some probiotic immune support and I use three cups of rice today and that will make enough for a family of five if you are, don't have a family of five then you could half that and then you could half the water as well but this is the easiest way that I know how to make rice. You can make rice a thousand different ways. I've made it about 10 different ways, and this, is, this always works for me. You can make it with white rice, wild rice, brown rice, jasmine rice, Thai sticky rice. Isn't rice always sticky? I also have a secret weapon, just like my homemade sauce for the rice. My secret weapon is nori sheets, and I'll show you how to use those when we cook it. Pretty cool, right? My husband got me these for Christmas last year. Love them! Ooh, a little bit backwards. Okay, here's the rice soaking in the bowl. This has been soaking for about three hours now. And I have a fine mesh strainer. If you don't have a fine mesh strainer, I would recommend getting one just because if you have a, a strainer with larger holes, obviously the rice is going to fall out and you won't be able to rinse it. So here we go. And the water is a little bit... I don't know if you can see it. It's a little bit junky. Like I said, some of it is the fibers in the rice and other stuff is, I really couldn't tell you. That's why I rinse it and soak it. until the water is not cloudy anymore. That could be anywhere between three to five times. The rice has been rinsed and now we're ready to go to the stove top. See my pot in the background. Okay, so we have our pot ready. There's nothing in it, but what I want you to do is just drizzle about, I don't know, a teaspoon or two teaspoons of olive oil in the bottom of the pot. Turn the flame on to medium and then wait till it gets uh, heated up. And you can tell that it gets heated up by the way uh, it gets less sluggish in the pan and it'll get a little bit more shiny. After we heat up the oil, we are going to put the rice in and just toss to coat for a little bit. Okay, so the oil seems to be ready. It's a little bit less sluggish, it's shiny, I can smell it. The next thing we're going to do is put in the rice that you've drained. Right in here, it's going to sizzle. That's okay. Then we're going to turn it around. have to be perfect. Just get as much oil on it as you can. And now here is where you're going to put the water. So three cups of rice to four and a half cups of water. If you have broth, use broth. Give it a good stir. 
Make sure those rice kernels that creep up on the outer edges of the pot are pushed down a little bit. Give it a good stir. And here's where my secret weapon comes in. The sushi sheets. Now the sushi sheets are really big. I'm gonna show you these in a second. See, they're really big. We don't need one this big. I'm just gonna tear it. I'm gonna put a quarter sheet in here. Now the reason why I like to use my secret weapon here is because this adds nutrients to the rice. It adds vitamins and minerals. Um, it's just a bunch of good stuff. And you know my kids are really picky eaters, so I try to just sneak in as many veggies as I can. I just lay it right on top. And then the rice will absorb the nutrients of the sushi. If you want to use a whole sheet, by all means, go ahead. But I just think a quarter sheet is enough for us. Put the lid on. Turn the heat up to high. You're going to wait till you can see smoke come out of the pot with the lid on. And once that happens, I'll tell you what to do. But just keep it here on high with the lid on. Hey, while you're waiting for the steam to come up through the lid, I thought I'd give you a little roller skating show. <laughs> What'd you think? Okay, I don't know if you can see, but there's definitely steam coming out from underneath the lid of the pot and it's super boiling in there. So if this is what yours looks like, this is perfect. Now, shut off the heat completely. Remove from the burner. Let it rest. Set your timer for five minutes. I have my handy dandy pineapple timer. If you have one of these turn timers and you have to set it for five minutes or less, twist it around to 55 and then all the way back to five. We'll be back after five minutes. Hey, we're back. My pineapple timer went off. You can see that it is at zero. It's still ticking, not quite sure why, but we're not gonna talk about that right now. Okay, so it's been resting for five minutes. You put it back on the burner. You turn the heat on low, and when I say low, I mean all the way low. So if you have a one or a zero or just an LO, you put it on low and you reset the timer for 35 minutes. And that's it. It'll be done in 35 minutes. We'll come back after 35 and I will show you. Meantime, why don't you do some more roller skating? It's good for you. All right, my timer went off. It's at super zero right here. It's not really ticking anymore. And the rice should be done. Look at that. So 35 minutes. Don't forget to shut the heat off. And you'll see, so some of the um, nori sheet went through the rice. Uh, but there you go. You can take that out if you don't want it. No problem. Other times it stays flat. Other times it just kind of sneaks around in there. But anyway, here it is. Looks good, right? That's all you need to do. Rice. Put it in the broth. Have it on the side. Here we go. Doesn't stick to the bottom. There's no burnt on the bottom either. Super delicious. By the way, I forgot to mention that the rice does not taste like the nori sheet so you won't have any fishy taste or seaweed taste or seafood taste in there it just infuses the rice with vitamins minerals and a whole bunch of other good stuff r for rice roller skates and rabbit if you like this video please give us a thumbs up and say ciao for now <laughs>